Hey guys, how's it going? So um, today we've got Andy around and uh, we're just going to be soldering the BMS onto yeah, the battery. Yeah, the BMS for the battery. Um, I think you need to extend some wires, don't you? Yeah, yeah, there's some of the uh, balance cables need extending just to move it the extra space from the top position round to the side, yeah. But um, it's, a bit for these, it's a beautiful day, yeah, so we're going to chuck a couple of t-shirts on and uh, yeah, get to it. Okay, now. That is annoying, isn't it? It's going to be a case of having to extend them, really. I don't think there's any way around it. Well, what one's... that's tight. Just extend one at a time until you get to the stage where it... Yeah, I think you're right. I think you might... This one seems to be the one that's tight, doesn't it? That one there. Oh, the pucker one's just all done and the feet shrink and wrapped in the black stuff and put on the bracket if I paint that black. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, probably the tidiest install that I've seen, I'd imagine. Should be. It's been a bit of a journey, this one, hasn't it? Definitely, yeah. It's just not one of them bolt one in an afternoon jobs, was it? But that was a whole thing. That was a whole thing. Well, this it. is it. Once you, you you outgrow stuff so quick with e-bikes, it's just like, you know, once you've done one thing, you're just like, right, you're like, you know, if you're if you've got that, if you've got that bug for it, then it's just endless. <laughs> There's always something you can actually do. I think it annoyed me all along thinking, how can you fit a battery on a full suspension bike? And it's probably a question a lot of people have asked. Well, this, I mean, this, you're not going to be able to do this if if you don't really know what you're bloody doing, are you? That's the, that's the thing No, I mean, you it. get people that email you with technical difficulties trying to just fit a standard kit. Mm. The bulk of the battery holder on a hardtail, so... Let alone... This is definitely more involved. Definitely more involved. That's it. But this is what you've got to do if you want... Custom. More performance, yeah, yeah. Or you want to do something that isn't run-of-the-mill. Well, you can get a more performance easier with a hardtail. <laughs> Let's face it. True. You could probably have one of them knocked up in an afternoon. Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, you know, if you're, if you want to do a quick e-bike build, the DIY kits are the, the one. Just straightforward hub on the back wheel, controller. But you know, consider considering doing phase runner kits that are see the, th the thing about the phase runners they have actually put on the right connectors for a lot of these kits that you can buy so the kirby bike kits don't use high go connectors because they're a little bit higher power but if you're running something that isn't as high power you might find that your, your phase runner actually will just plug straight in and you won't have to do any jiggery pokery um you won't have to mess around with anything that one's going to be tight as well but this one's tight the next tightest in line. Very tight. I mean, these are probably a bit long actually. But... Time to get these balance cables kind of tidied up. Something like that? Yeah, that's it. Tuck them all in and then do you want me to? Yeah, you could. You might be able to help tuck a little bit. Nip and tuck, a bit of plastic surgery. These are never going to go anywhere anyway, so you can, this is I need, um, fine. I need a degree to get this back in. Mm. And start at one end and then. It's either that or I'll fold it from I'll fold there. it over that way. Yeah. This sort of all melds into the shape. Shape, doesn't it? So you're kind of certainly going to waterproof it. There's going to be no issues with ingress. Well, water. Right. Sweet. Look at that. I don't know whether to put neat. a tinsy bit on there or just leave it. I don't know if you need it. Could do, just to... A little square. Yeah. I don't know, it's just going to make it horrible if you need to work on anything. Well, yeah, I suppose. I suppose that shouldn't need to. No, and this should protect it from needing to. It should protect the cables to some degree, shouldn't it? Hmm. Mm. Not sure about this. Leave it in. Just leave it off. Maybe, maybe just a little strip on that to stop it, to keep that one in check. I, uh, I mean, yeah, those might you be what, I'd rather that hanging out that end with nice so it can... Oh, I'll see what you mean. Yeah. You don't want it bunched up there, do you? Not really. Just wherever you're gonna, gonna mount it. 
I'll take some of the slack out. But... That looks quite tidy, doesn't it? Back to looking reasonably tidy again. Exactly. Right, let's get back on the bike. Cool, so we're all, uh, Andy's stuck the new BMS on for me. Still mounted this temporarily because I'm waiting for the um, bracket to be made, hopefully. What day is it? Tuesday a day. Hopefully that should be ready tomorrow or the next day. And um, yeah, it's a lovely day, so we're going to go out for a ride to the beach. So here we go then. We're off for, uh, what are we actually doing? Go for a little burn. Just going for a little ride. Go for a little burn. Go down the, uh, go down down the beach. Well. Go down the coast. Go and have a look. Let's go. You got your flip flops on? Yeah, I've, I've got my riding shoes on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a beach bum now. You're a beach bum now. I'm a full on beach bum. Nice. Especially in flip flops. Yeah. Really Check the footwear. Down there. Yeah, it's not ideal. It's loose as well. Flat here. Better off up here. Yeah. Yeah, but I think this bit ends. Oh. I think. Or something. I can't remember. That's oh, alright. It's alright for certain bits, and you get bits in a minute like this bit. Yeah, it's a little fun. Yeah, look, 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 look. <laughs> you have to preload them all. Yeah, of course it is. It's set quite firm, but it's alright. I don't think it matters what your suspension is if you hit the bump and don't preload over it, you're going to go over the bars if the bump's big enough. Welcome back guys, as you can see it's um, a rather crappy day, I want to do a little bit on the bike today because I've got the battery tray back but um, yeah I'm not going out there. So i um, been to the fabricators and now I've got a battery tray, however being a one off piece as expected doesn't quite, doesn't quite fit perfectly, I've been tinkering around so excuse the mess. But as you can see, it fits in place nicely. Fits in all great, but the problem is the phase runner. It won't... That. The phase runner, as I, I didn't expect him to put these sides in place. He's done that for strengthening this side and this side. And it's too narrow. It's too narrow to fit the phase runner by about... 8, eight ten mil. So what I've decided to do is go back to the fabricator, ask him to remove this side piece so that the phase runner sits on the other side of this bottom part of the tray. And then it's either going to be stuck down, it's not very heavy this piece, be stuck down with some ultra strong ad adhesive pads. Um, also the battery is going to be cable tied in place 
but not all the way over the frame it's going to look much tidier and this all this is going to be gone soon so yeah I don't know if you can see here I've marked a little mark with a sharpie and I want a slot put in there so so I can get a cable tie through and cable tie the battery down here and here but obviously with the side piece in the way I'm going to need a little slot put in there so then the battery will be cable cable tied down and you'll better remove it for maintenance and I'm probably going to get this I don't know I could use some kind of black hammer right or I could send it off to um, send it off to somewhere it does um, powder coating but to be honest I'm not sure you're going to see much of this tray once it's all fitted and uh, it's taken so long to get this back so apologies for part three being delayed but I just kind of want to get it all fitted now so I, I've still got to make the decision now to finish it but I've decided to paint this black because the battery is going to be covered in black shrink wrap the phage runner's black the suspension's black including the rear shock um, yeah I just think it'll keep the lines of the orange um, of the green frame um, I think it'll keep the lines of the frame looking good and like factory and I want it kind of stealth looking as well so yeah I can't wait to get it finished and get rid of all this junk and have all this tidied up still need to do something with the charge port and I still need to do something with the on off switch for the battery but um, yeah it's nearing completion now guys uh, can't wait let's get down the fabricators and get this back 